Assalamu alaikum. So in this video, we'll be talking about the how to test the C5 nerve root and what will happen if the C5 nerve root is affected. This is uh, the first video of a series of videos. We'll be talking about different uh, parts of the neurological examination. I'm Mohamed Draz, and this is your knowledge platform about the brain, spine, and beyond. So as we can see here in this picture, I mean, the C5 nerve root or any nerve root, if you want to test it, then you have to think about three things. The first one is the motor supply. The second is the uh, reflex or the reflexes that needs to be tested and the sensory supply or the sensory examination. So for the C5 nerve root, we will start with the motor supply and how to test it. So if we look here into this picture, the first and the most important uh, muscle to be tested for a C5 nerve root is the deltoid muscle. But also when you test those muscles and when we talk about the examination, you have to appreciate that there is an overlap of the nerve supply to those muscles. So the, the muscle might be dual supplied by other nerves. So in this case, for the deltoid muscle, for example, it's supplied by the uh, C5. And that could be the best muscle to be tested for uh, C5 uh, nerve root. And the deltoid is mainly used for the shoulder abduction. So shoulder abduction. And as you can see in this image, how to test it is basically you will, the patient will have his arm by the side and then you will ask the patient to push their arm out. When you say this like chicken wings, basically. So to push their arms out and do the shoulder abduction. Again, it's your resistance, so you're pushing their, um, their arms as they, as they try to push it. You do that on both sides, and then you test the difference or check if there is any difference. The second one, uh, or the second muscle to look at, is the biceps muscles. And the biceps muscle is supplied by both C5 and the C6, um, and is basically innervated by the musculocutaneous nerve. But the... Um, the main action for the biceps muscle is basically the elbow flexion, the elbow flexion. So what you need to do is basically ask the patient to keep their arms in that way. And then you ask them to flex their elbow or flex their arm. And basically you are pushing them against the resistance and check the action of the muscle. The last one here is the infraspinatus muscle. And the infraspinatus is um, one of the rotator cuff muscles. So you have the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and the other two tiers, minor and major. And the um, infraspinatus muscle um, is, is responsible for the external rotation of the arm. So this movement of external rotation is basically uh, done by the infraspinatus muscle. So to test that, you will ask the patient to keep their arms like this in a kind of a 90 degree fashion and ask the patient to rotate the arm outside. And as you do that, you're trying to bring some resistance to them as they do that movement. So this movement, so you do that and you bring resistance as they are externally rotating their arm. So here you see there is a rotation in the uh, arm or in the, um, in the shoulder itself. So those are the three muscles. The most important one is basically the deltoid muscle and then the other two. In terms of the reflex, the main reflex to test for a C5 is the biceps reflex. But you have to keep in mind that also the, 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 the biceps reflex is supplied also by the C6, not only the C5. Um, so because it receives supply from two segmental levels, which is C5 and 6. So in, in this case, the, the test is basically the biceps and you know how to test the reflex. It's basically you ask the patient to keep their arm relaxed and then you check with your uh, hammer on the tendon here. You tend to put your finger and check the reflex and see if there is any response. The response will be in the kind of flexion movement of the uh, arm. Then finally, the C5 nerve supply or the sensory supply. And um, as you can see here from this dermatomal distribution, it's basically supplying this batchy area, which is kind of the lateral aspect of the uh, arm from uh, also from the front and from the back. But the main area that you can test is basically a patch around here, around the tip of the uh, shoulder with the deltoid muscle here. That's the main area where you can test for the C5 nerve root. So as you can imagine, if there is any lesion that is affecting the C5 nerve root, um, either on a, a spinal cord level or on a root level, then that will cause a problem while you're examining the patient, either sensory loss or loss of the reflexes 
or weakness, which can be examined as mentioned earlier through the three muscles with the main one as the deltoid muscle. I hope you find this uh, video um, easy and uh, you find the neurological examination simplified. In the next video, we'll be talking about the C6 nerve root uh, examination and what will happen if there is any lesion affecting the C6 nerve root. Please like and comment and share and subscribe to our channel so our uh, content can reach to a wider audience and stay tuned for the next video.